Hey there, how's it going? It's your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward here. And in this video clip, you're gonna get a complete leg workout. And I actually just came from the gym and filmed an entire lower body training session covering quads, hams, and calves. And I'm in the process now of putting that video together. And I'm gonna basically take you through it step by step, exercise by exercise. So without further ado, let's get to it. And the first thing we're gonna do is just a general warm up. And I always like to start my workouts with five to ten minutes on the rowing machine and this is a fantastic exercise that engages the upper and lower body and it's just a good general warm-up before hitting the weight room floor. After that I'm going to do some specific exercises to limber up the muscle groups that we're going to train. So here I'm doing some just leg swings forwards and backwards to warm up the the hip flexors and the hamstrings and all these muscle groups and inner and outer thigh hip, hip swings this is great for warming up the hips and just getting those kinks and cracks and all that little stuff that you may have. Get those kinks worked out before you actually get into doing your weight training exercises. And this right here, like I say, it's, it's a form of dynamic stretching is what it is. After that, I'm going to do a couple high rep sets of inner and outer thigh machine. Again, to warm up the hips and just make sure everything's loose and limber and ready to go for the leg workout. Now, the first exercise is squats, and a lot of people consider squats the king of the ex the king of exercises, and I certainly do as well. So I like to uh, include this as a regular in my leg workouts. And if you want some specific tips on squatting technique, I actually posted up a couple videos about that uh, a little while ago, so I'll have them in the annotations there to the side. If you want some specific tips on squatting form and technique. And for the squat, we're going to do a couple progressively heavier warm-ups and then work up to three sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Next on the list is a leg extensions, and this is a great exercise to isolate the quadriceps. And you notice I'm using the Hammer Strength single leg leg extension machine and doing these one at a time. And the benefit of doing single leg leg extensions is you can focus on each side independently and you can do an equal workload for both your left and right leg because chances are if you get into doing single limb exercises you'll find one side a little bit stronger than the other so by including exercises such as this you're going to help to develop balance and proportion and you may notice this if you just look at yourself in the mirror I mean probably one leg is bigger than the other or one arm is bigger than the other etc I mean this is very common virtually everyone has some muscle imbalance between the left and right sides so including exercises such as single limb and single leg extensions you can help to balance that out now we're moving on to single leg curls for the same reason we're going to balance out the hamstrings and this move here is a great exercise that really isolates the hamstring it's kind of like a concentration curl for your biceps this is like a concentration curl for your hamstrings a very strict and isolated move and it'll really give you a good pump in the hams. Uh, you'll notice as I'm doing these exercises I really like to emphasize the peak contraction so as I perform the lift and curl up I'll hold that peak contraction for a split second at the top really flex and contract the hamstrings hard. So it's, it's not a big movement but it's a very strict and a very isolated movement. And again, for these exercises, we're going to do a couple progressively heavier warm-ups and then work up to about 10 to 12 reps for three sets. Now we're going to move on and do some calf work. And for this, I'm using the seated calf raise machine, which is a really good isolation exercise for the calves. I mean, pretty much all calf exercises are isolation moves because it's a very small movement, but you'll find that the seated calf is a bit more isolated then the next exercise that we're going to do, which is the standing calf. And calves respond better to higher reps. So again, keep the reps 10 to 15 repetitions per set and use very strict form. Going through a full range of motion, full stretch at the bottom, and a full peak contraction at the top. And here we are doing the standing calf. And I find the combo of doing seated calf and then standing calf, you can either do them in a superset fashion, like one set of seated calf and then one set of standing calf, or you can do all your sets of seated and then all your sets of standing. It's kind of personal preference. 
But the combo of doing both these exercises together will really fry your calves and basically give you a complete calf workout. And again, as you notice, going through a full range of motion, being very strict, holding that peak contraction at the top for a second and holding that stretch in the bottom for a second or two. That's the key to calves. You really want to be super strict with the move. And now to finish off, I'm going to do some kickbacks. And this is an exercise you don't see a lot of guys do, but it's, again, a great exercise to really finish off your legs because it's going to hit the entire leg and work each side independently. So it's a good exercise for isolating the quads and really targets the glutes as well. So I like to do a couple sets of kickbacks afterwards as a great finishing exercise for the leg workout. Now, you have, probably have different types of kickback machines at your gym, and if you have them, I highly recommend you use them. But if not, then you could probably do something like a, a lunge, maybe like walking lunges or something like that. It kind of sim simulates the same type of movement. And for this move, we're going to do three sets of between 10 and 15 repetitions per leg. And to finish off our workout, we're going to stretch out our legs. And this is a very important portion of any workout routine, is to stretch the muscles you just trained. So what I'm doing right here now is a quadricep stretch and simply holding on to my foot and pulling it back into my butt. And this is great for not only stretching out the quads, but it's good for building your balance as well. I mean, if you need to, obviously, you can hold on to something for support, but I like to try and balance myself just to develop that balance and support. And now I'm doing some toe touches. This is great for stretching out the hamstrings, the lower back, the glutes. And these stretches, I mean, it's not very complicated. And I actually have a stretching video series posted that uh, you can see there in the annotations. It covers stretches for all your major muscle groups. So it's a little five to 10 minute stretching routine that you can do at the end of each of your workouts. And it's very straightforward. Just simply hold each of these stretches for two sets of about 30 seconds. Uh, ideally, I like to hold each stretch for about a minute total. And again, break it up. Two sets of 30 seconds is fine for stretching. And there's the benefits are numerous. I mean, it'll improve your recovery, aid with growth. It'll help reduce your risk of injury, reduce soreness. I mean, there's so many benefits to stretching. It should be a part of everyone's workout routine. And after we finish our stretching routine, we're going to do some cardio as a cool down. And I like to walk on the treadmill. I'll set it up on an incline and go for a 10 minute brisk walk as a cool down routine. And this is a great way to get rid of the lactic acid buildup in your legs. And this will help to speed up recovery and get rid of muscle soreness as well. So it's good to do a little bit of cardio as a cool down after your training session. So there you go, a complete workout routine. And just to quickly recap, your main exercises here are squats for three sets of eight to 10 repetitions, single leg extensions, three sets of 10 to 12 reps, single leg curls, three sets of 10 to 12, seated calf raise, again, three sets 10 to 12, standing calf raise for three sets of 10 to 12, and we finished off with some single leg kickbacks for three sets of 10 plus repetitions. Now, I didn't include warm-up sets because this is something I want you to go by how you feel. I mean, do as many progressively heavier warm-ups as you feel you need in order to get to your top weight working sets. So, no, don't skimp on the warm-ups. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if in doubt, throw in an extra warm-up set or two. Don't, uh, don't skimp in that area. Alrighty then, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to get some more training information, then I encourage you to download a copy of my free 12-week workout program. I have a link to it in the description below, so just click on that to download your copy. Take care, over and out.